I am so excited about this bull run. I just see it all coming. Totally. And you can't stop it now. Nobody can stop it now. It's going to be so exciting. You guys are going to be so rich. Some of y'all are going to get girlfriends. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> are you guys bullish for this bull run? Do you even care about crypto? Do you guys even care? Like, do you guys know what's coming? Are you excited? Smash the like button if you're excited. Smash the like button if you think I'm sexy. When is alt season meme season, brother? When is alt season and meme season? Can you do me? You got to get Bitcoin going back up towards 70,000. Once Bitcoin hits around 70,000, starts challenging back to all time highs, I think it's going to level off a little bit. I don't think it's going to blow right past it. And in those moments when Bitcoin stalls out as it climbs, that's when the altcoins run. But remember, it doesn't always happen because Bitcoin has to be stable for an altcoin season. So if Bitcoin is still running up, the money's still going into Bitcoin and there's some alts, of course, alts aren't getting crushed as Bitcoin's going up. They're going along with it. But when Bitcoin stabilizes, that's when people start, the smart ones shift the profits over to the altcoins, but it doesn't always work. It's going, you don't use one blank strategy because sometimes what's gonna happen is you're gonna move the money over to the altcoin because man, it's about to pump. And then you get some kind of huge bad FUD story for Bitcoin or something or some some war missile or something. And then all of a sudden the price of Bitcoin goes down and now you don't have the stability you needed for your run, but you need to keep putting quarters in so you keep getting a turn. And that's the way that it works. So you can't be afraid to do it. If you are, you gotta get out of the freaking kitchen. That's what I say. So BlackRock tokenized fund surpassed $500 million in assets. Guys, that is going to go up to trillions and trillions of dollars. It's only a 500 million. The BlackRock, the Biddle fund will go to trillions of dollars in assets alone by itself, I believe. $500 million is all it's at right now. They oh, look, look here, here, here we go. Here, listen, listen. You can't make this stuff up, J. James. I'm good. I know this stuff. McKinsey estimates estimates that minus the stable coins, the tokenized market will reach two trillion just by 2030, and that is the crypto RWA market. We've been talking about the 17 trillion dollar number. That's not an additional 17 trillion dollars into crypto. That's the amount of tokenized assets on the Biddle, you know, through Biddle that have been uh, pledged to the platform, I guess you could say, that it is tokenized on that chain. That mu that does not mean the co the price of the token is going to have a $16 trillion market cap. But this here is saying the minus the stable coins, two trillion by 2030, the market cap in crypto alone. That's what the entire thing is right now. Think about it. I've been telling you this RWA stuff is so serious and you got to get into it. And Pith is some of the, 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 and it's an Oracle, but you, some, you call it deep in a sense. It's, it's helping to push RWAs. Yeah. They, and, and they, and because they can't got, wait for that interview. It's going to be Pith, so good. Pith has direct relationships and partnerships with Ondo, yep. which in turn, you know, they're connected with the BlackRock. And Sui, of course. Sui is all. They've got yeah. It's like, you guys got to understand, like BlackRock doesn't play to lose at all. Mm -mm -mm. Like, at all. It's like this, like boxing right i have not gone into a fight yet where at the end of the first round when i sit down in the corner i'm like oh, how can i do another round that was so much work and i'm so tired and that was so intense and it didn't go the way i thought i'd won i did good but it didn't go the way i wanted to and so what do you have to do you got to put yourself through the crucible because i want to get to the end of the first round and i want to still be able to feel like okay cool I'm, that was done go to the next one when you're not breathing right in the middle of a ring and you're just throwing haymakers because you're tired you're not doing your best. You, you're, you're not performing because you're you're too tired and I, I'm too out of breath, right? But these professional boxers go 12, three round minutes. What? What I'm saying here is what I'm trying to do in my training to get in the fight, I wanna get to where I'm comfortable in the ring with my breathing and it's just normal and I'm in here, but the tension is still high. The tension is so high in the ring. I know what's going on and I know what the stakes are, the tension is very high, but I'm in control and I'm breathing and I'm thinking and I'm, I'm, I'm reacting. That's the way you have to be in the fake financial system that we live. Our, the fake financial system that we live in is our ring and we're in the middle of it. It's always trying to throw you over the ropes, 
trying to get you out of the ring the whole time because it doesn't think you know what it's doing, right? Or the ring itself is fighting against you in a sense, trying to knock you out. But the smartest investors, they keep their hands up, they keep themselves protected, they keep themselves hedged, so they don't lose all their money on one shot ever, you know, in those shots. But they're comfortable in the discomfort of the field they're fighting on. They're comfortable with the tension. They're comfortable knowing that the markets are being manipulated by the media and institutions. And knowing that, you just have to train to be able to fight properly. And that's what this channel does. It informs you to be able to make a lot of these decisions with a lot more information. In boxing, is training. In crypto, it's education. That's your training. Learning about all this and getting outside of just what price did coin go up to? You're never going to make it if you do it like that, guys.